Hold up. Yo, what's going on guys? It is Fox Studio 98 here and welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. Today we are back with my F1 2013 career mode and we are here for the Indian Grand Prix and we are getting very close to crunch time in this season. So we've only got four rounds to go in this uh, session but without further ado, we're just going to get straight on with it. There is no need to really say anything about more about it and as you can see, it's talking about my contract rumours but at the end of the day, I'm staying at Ferrari to the end of the season no matter what. So... This is uh, it. So, as you may or may not have known, if you haven't seen the last episode, I highly recommend you go and check it out. It was an absolutely amazing episode, really action-packed, and uh, also puts uh, some big twists in the championship. And uh, we still lead the championship ahead of Fernando Alonso, so it is a Ferrari showdown at the moment. And uh, we'll be looking to try and uh, increase our lead in the championship here in India. But, of course, I haven't done any qualifying practice, so I'm probably going to be really far down the order. Well, as you can quite clearly tell, it's yet another rubbish qualifying session. Um, wasn't too bad in the first sector. Um, I just lost it all in the middle sector. Of course, it's high-speed corners in the middle sector, um, but I just didn't know what gear I was meant to go through. So I sort of just, like, predicted. Um, but, yeah, very close qualifying there between ha uh, Alonso and Lewis Hamilton there, uh, qualifying three one hundredths of a second apart. Um, but I just didn't... Yeah, I just, I just didn't know the gears I was going through from the middle sector. I was sort of going for a high-speed corner... And then it just changed and went into like down into second gear or something like that. And I was like completely unaware of it. Didn't really look at my um, gear selection help monitor thingy much. Um, but it doesn't matter. I always do really good in the race because I learn in the race. So that, that's how I work. So uh, yeah, anyway then we're going to get straight into the Grand Prix and hope to have a good one. All right, Fernando Alonso on pole position. And it's going to be Hamilton on the front row alongside him. And I'm going to be all the way down here with all these midfield runners for the start of the race. Until I actually learn the track more. That's how it works. Anyway, let's do this. Oh my god, the oversteer. Wow, this corner is a lot wider than I thought. I thought I was going to go back into the Hamilton then. Let's just stay in the slipstream of Hamilton. This will be fun. I don't even have my track map on. It's not even been enabled because of a previous challenge. This is just disgusting. Let's just stay in the slipstream of Hamilton. Until now, where I'm going to pull out. Lol. And go nicely down the inside. Oh, look at that. I started in P12. I'm already up into P2. Huh. Told you, qualifying means nothing. At the end of the first lap, Fernando Alonso has a three-second gap. Are you serious? How am I going to close all that down? Gap between me and Alonso... It's now down to 1.8. I've slowly just started to get used to this track. It's the middle sector where I'm absolutely dreadful. And when I mean dreadful, I'm literally a second a lap slower in the middle sector. But, still catching, which is promising. Hello, Alonso. We're right on the back of you now. I'm tucked in slipstream now. DRS is going to get enabled for me. And the rest is just going to be a pile of cake, really. Maybe it is possible to close the gap down. Thank you. Oh, Hamilton's just got past Alonso. I didn't even realise that. What is this, a four-way fight now? Unfortunately for me... Yeah, it's a four-way fight. It's Mercedes v. Ferrari at the moment. Just like in the days of where we are now, Mercedes v. Ferrari. But I'm in a bit of a predicament right now. I've got good pace, and that's fine. But my tyre wear isn't looking brilliant. It's not looking the best, and I am starting to struggle. Lewis Hamilton has been all over the back of me 
since we started this Grand Prix. He's literally just not given me any room to breathe. Obviously, I overtook him on a straight on the first lap, but from there, he's just been able to just follow me just constantly. And in this middle sector is where it all falls apart for me. Hamilton has genuinely just mugged me off around the outside. Oh my god. I mean, I, that's what I mean. This middle sector is awful for me. And he's just completely mugged me off around the outside. And he's just going to blast away now. I've got no answer to his pace at the moment. The only thing I can do is go for the one lap undercut. Let's do it. Let's go the one lap undercut. Oh god, that's a really, really weird pit entry. What is that pit entry? Oh my god, that's literally the worst pit entry in Formula 1 history. Let's go for the one lap undercut. Let's slam on the brakes. As I said, I should get DRS here because of course I was behind. Sebastian Vettel's in front of me. Hello, Ricardo. I can't afford to get held up behind Ricardo in the middle sector. That was a bit cheesy. That's about four seconds then to Alonso. Who's next? Wait, who's that? That's Hamilton. Oh, God. It's not going to be as easy as I thought then. I'm going to just rejoin in front of Webber. No, Hamilton's got the overcut. I take that fully back. I thought they'd all come in at the same time. They haven't. Hamilton's... Oh, sorry, curve bottle thingy. They genuinely have not. So Alonso's lost out. I'm still where I am. But now I've got Mark Webber behind me. I think this is the first time in my F1 2013 career mode that Mark Webber is anywhere in contention. Like, he's literally just been crap all year long. But um, I've just had probably the worst middle sector I've had so far in this race. Gap was about four seconds between me and Lewis Hamilton. It's up to six and a half now. I wasn't going to close that gap anyway. Hamilton's just been so much faster for pace rounds here than literally anybody. But in the main place to overtake, which is on this straight, Mark Webber has not had a single chance to get anywhere near me in the stage of the race. That's perfectly fine. Like, it's actually Fernando Alonso that's getting in range to attack. If I sort of dung out the slipstream here, I'm, I don't really want to help Alonso, to be honest. Because he is my championship rival. So really, why am I doing him a favour? Stay in front, Weber. Oh, that was close. I'm having a real scrap back there. Alonso goes to the outside line. This is not going to end well for one of them. I shouldn't focus on them. I should focus on myself. But now Alonso gets the job done. Mugs off Mark Weber. And now he's going to try and fight me. I've got to hold Alonso back. Okay, he just ran wide on his own. Never mind, I don't need to do anything. Oh my god, Alonso's gone wide in the process of that. I wasn't really talking, to be honest, because I'm too busy trying to fight here. Alonso went wide on that last fight. I'm trying to battle Weber. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Oh, my God. Rosberg's going to nick it across the line. Oh, my God. That was... That was a crazy fight. Like, my tires just died. They just completely died. Alonso finished down in 10th after that little scrap then because he just went... He went wide. I didn't bang into him at all. I lost I lost the rear end on that... Um thingy, whatever it's called. I can't remember now. I lost the back end on that um, second uh, up the hill. Alonso got a clean run around the outside. He runs wide. He lost the back end and Weber just came out of no. In fairness, I will be strongly adamant that my defense on Weber was terrible. I had so much oversteer. The rear tires, I just lit them up and obviously I shoved him wide. I do feel bad for that. I shouldn't really finish on the podium, but 
not a lot I can do about it. Um, in terms of the drivers' championship, though, uh, we are now 37 points clear of Lewis Hamilton uh, in this championship race. It's got a lot bigger now after that last lap mistake from Fernando Alonso. Uh, I wasn't really talking much for that, to be honest. Uh, Rosberg now jumps in front of Vettel and also Weber in the in the constructors' championship. Mercedes now, with that one-two out of nowhere, have now snatched the lead uh, on, the, on 415 points compared to 412 from Ferrari there overall. But um, unfortunately. I feel like I might then, in that last lap of instinct, might have just let the Drivers' Championship get to my head a bit too much then. Um, obviously, like, now, like, just this second, having instant reflection, obviously Alonso had a clean run up the hill. I gave him the room that he wanted. He went wide. That's not my fault. He lost the rear end going off the track. Can't really do anything about that. And then, of course, compared to Mark Webber then, I just had so much oversteer on the rear of the car that... um. I just couldn't control it, and he was going on the outside, so, yeah, um, that is, that's a bit of a shame there, so, um, that's annoying, that is, but, um, it, it, it is what it is, so now it means that Hamilton's actually the closest championship rival, and in terms of contract offers, uh, offer to renew your contract at Ferrari, cool, thank you, uh, do I need to give him a time? Um, cool, yeah, nice, whatever. Um, but anyway, guys, that is going to be it for my F1 2013 career mode here at the Indian Grand Prix. Next up is going to be the US uh, Grand Prix. No, it's not. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix uh, next up with, obviously, the title race still wide open uh, with Hamilton and Fernando Alonso now, my closest championship rivals. But until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care all. Peace.